personal log. Mission Specialist Kate Ward, Sentient Contact Assessment and Response Team. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. We observed and explored, but found nothing. Until now. Scar Mission Control to Hermes. Status check. All systems nominal. We're working on a solution for our scan power requirement. We'll update soon. Roger that, Hermes. Keep us posted. Kate, we have an issue. Problem with the scan? We've underestimated the power requirements necessary to penetrate the Metahedron's hull. Mike has an idea, but he could use a hand. He's in the lab and I'll give you the details. On my way. It has been six months since the alien object known as the Metahedron suddenly appeared above Earth's atmosphere. The Hermes mission is currently making preparations to engage with it. Hey, Kate. I think I figured out a way to give us the power we need for the scan. I've attached the scanners directly to the engines. Wow, directly? Brave. I think it'll work, but we need to find a way to kickstart the process with around 500,000 volts. Do we still have those SLD-26 welders in the equipment room? Yeah, I think we have one or two, but why do you... Oh! Oh! You want to modify it to discharge high voltage electricity? <laughs> and you call me brave. <laughs> oh boy. Need to craft a rail module at the mobile printing unit. There! It should be strong enough to direct and focus the electrical current. to fit all this together. Only missing a power source. I have to adjust the frequency of the Tesla coil first. See, Mr. Jefferson is in the lab today. Yeah, I never leave my home planet without him. just to calibrate the output voltage. That looks like a space blaster. Just a tool, nothing else. It's a vectorized energy rail accelerator, discharging electrical- Vera! Let's call it Vera for short. You sure like to name things. <laughs> Vera it is. I'm in front of the reactor. What's the best way to power it with extra energy? See the three positronic nodes surrounding the core? A jolt to each one would be sufficient. Yes! Keep it up! Oh, 
Almost there. We need a little more energy for the reaction. Huh. Let's try a direct shot to the core. Straight to the heart. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous at all. It's working. I'm feeding the excess power directly to the scanner. I haven't seen you shoot like this since the college rifle championship. Yeah, I also remember you taking first place from me. And don't you forget it. Good job. Dr. Ward, Dr. Yoshida, get to the bridge, please. Time to see what's inside our alien guest. I should return Vera to the equipment room. She served her purpose. Telemetry check. Telemetry check. Here go. How are we doing with that sensor array, Mike? We're ready, Commander. You have the honors, Dr. Ward. Take your place when ready, and start the scan. Excess energy seems to have done the trick. The array is locked on the metahedron and operating at almost 200% of its standard efficiency. Say the word, Commander. Just a moment, Dr. Ward. Team? Can I have your attention, please? Since the dawn of humankind, our species has gazed toward the skies and wondered whether we were truly alone. Well, six months ago, we got our answer. And with it came new questions. What is this object in front of us? Where did it come from? Who sent it? And why? While the governments, leaders, thinkers, and common people discussed the meaning of this event, we were training. We were preparing. The SCAR team. Now, the whole world is relying on us. We're dreamers and skeptics. We're explorers and pioneers. With hearts and minds. With courage and resolution. With trust and fellowship with science. We're going to give the world their answers. And in this historic moment at the conjunction of hopes and fears, there's no people I'd rather face the unknown with. Dr. Ward, you have the honors. Let's do this. Yes, Commander. <sighs> Scared? Of course I am. I thought you army pilots were trained not to be. We're trained to control it. The fear keeps us sharp. How are you holding up, Doctor? Oh, I'm 100% sharp, all right. <laughs> so, do you think it's a weapon? Well, a weapon is a very human concept. Perhaps what we perceive as a weapon is just a tool. Wait. The scan. The metahedron's energy levels are rising rapidly. Oh. Okay, what happened? Power supply failing. Sensors offline. I'm switching to backup generators. I'll try to reroute. Look. The metahedron, it's... It's creating some sort of a gravity well. The Hermes is being pulled towards it! Hang on, everyone! Dr. Ward! Kate!
Commander Robinson? Tam? Mike? Anyone? Where are you? What is this place? What's happening? Saya. Dana. Who was that? Where, where am I? How is this possible? What planet is this? Did the Metahedron bring us here? Signal. It must be someone from the team. I have to get to them. The debris, it's... it's from the Hermes. It must have splintered off when the ship entered the atmosphere. A Scarfield backpack. <sighs> Empty, but still useful. This electric cutter can cut through even the toughest materials. I'd better take it with me. Log entry. A joint legged invertebrate life form, similar to Arachnida. Fast movement, small frame. Seems to move in groups. <laughs> mm. 
They're dead. Must be a gate of some sorts. But there's no obvious locking mechanism. Log entry. The gate has an internal conduction system. The three points on the rim seem sensitive. A targeted blast of electricity could cause a reaction. There has to be something around here I could use to open the gate. I should look around. Log entry. This plant doesn't have any chloroplasts, which means it can't conduct photosynthesis. Strange. We don't want to fry the coil. There. Awesome. We did it, Kate. I remember this. Mike and I were finishing our electrical experiment just after lunch. Vera, it's still intact. Log entry. Salivary glands concentrated in the head enable the creature to discharge a venomous secretion. Muscular tissue is highly susceptible to fire. Feels like I'm moving through entrails. Feels like I'm moving through entrails.
another one of these pillars. These cables, they're from the Hermes. flesh-like webbing. I have to break through it. Log entry. Strong organic tissue, but the blisters appear to be filled with diethyl ether. Most likely flammable. Entry. This is a bio vessel for an indigenous creature. The shell seems highly combustible. It contains an organism that is almost fully formed. I better not touch it. but we were there just an hour ago. The whole place is covered with some kind of organic residue. Commander Richard Robinson, log entry. Ever since I left the Hermes, I, it's been getting worse. The growth. I have to get it off. <laughs> I've, I've salvaged some electrical components. I might be able to craft an incendiary device with the MPU. <laughs> Burn the growth. The body must be cleansed. Ever since he left the Hermes, but we were just there. He, he sounds different, enraged. emitter with the MPU, connect it with the thermic module, and attach it all to the welder's frame. This might burn straight through that flesh-like webbing. And I'm taking the MPU.
See the energy points on this gate. Perhaps they're on the other side. Log entry. I found a strange alien cube. It's emitting neural waves. This means it has the potential to send information directly to the brain. Mana Tuva. How far would you go? in the search for answers. Log entry. 
I have cataloged all of the medical supplies for our mission. Potent stuff. Boosters, stimulants, bioenhancers. I know our mission will have plenty of unknowns, but... It seems like overkill. <laughs> I'm I suppose. 